Hi everyone, my name is Leah and welcome to the kitchen. In this week's video, we're going to be making a one dish dinner recipe. Today, we're making Tuscan chicken orzo. Let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need some orzo pasta, spinach, an onion, dry white wine, I happen to be using a Pinot Grigio, heavy cream, olive oil, some broth, minced garlic, grated Parmesan cheese, boneless skinless chicken breasts, a jar of sun-dried tomatoes, crushed hot red pepper flakes, some Italian seasoning, and some salt and black pepper to taste. Begin by slicing and finely dicing one small onion. Next, cut two boneless skinless chicken breasts in half lengthwise. Cutting the chicken in half will help it cook faster. Drain all the oil from a 7 ounce jar of sun-dried tomatoes. Add 2 tablespoons of olive oil to a large skillet. Heat the oil over medium heat and let it coat the bottom of the pan. Place the halved chicken breasts in the pan in a single layer and cook for 3 minutes aside. Season the top half of the chicken with some salt, black pepper, and Italian seasoning to taste. After three minutes, flip the chicken breast over to cook the other side. And season the other half with some more salt, black pepper, and Italian seasoning to taste. After the three minutes, remove the chicken breast from the pan and set aside. Add two more tablespoons of olive oil to the same skillet and add all the chopped onion to the pan. Stir and saute the onion as it softens and cooks for five minutes over medium heat. Add two teaspoons of minced garlic and stir for 30 seconds. Add the drained sun-dried tomatoes and stir to combine with the onion and garlic. Add one and a half cups of dried orzo pasta to the pan. Stir the orzo as it toasts for a few minutes with the onion, garlic, and tomato. Pour in a third of a cup of dry white wine and stir to deglaze the bottom of the pan until the wine has evaporated. Next, pour in three cups of broth to the pan and season with some crushed red pepper flakes to taste. Stir again to distribute the broth and ensure all the orzo is fully submerged in the cooking liquid. Add the partially cooked chicken breasts back to the pan and nestle them within the orzo. Once the broth is gently boiling, cover and simmer on low for 15 minutes. Halfway through, remove the lid and give everything a stir to ensure the orzo isn't sticking to the bottom of the pan and flip the chicken breasts over. Then cover and continue to simmer. Remove the lid after 15 minutes and stir the orzo again. Take the cooked chicken breasts out of the pan and set to the side again. Pour one cup of heavy cream in the pan and stir to combine. Add a third of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese and stir again. Add in three cups of fresh baby spinach. Gently stir and cover the pan with a lid until the leaves are just wilted. On the side, cut the chicken breasts into thin strips. Remove the lid from the pan. Stir the cooked spinach in with the orzo. Add the sliced chicken breast to the skillet. 
and spread the chicken strips in an even layer across the top. And enjoy your Tuscan chicken orzo. This Tuscan chicken orzo is a great comfort food. And if you're interested in another recipe I made using orzo, you can find my Italian sausage and orzo skillet video in my YouTube channel, and it will be linked in the description box below. If you're interested in the recipe for Tuscan chicken orzo, you can click the link in the description box below to visit my website, leahnoelcooking.com. There you'll find all my recipes written out, photos, videos, and more. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more delicious recipes.